I'll be honest with you guys. Don't know what just happened. Do not know what just happened, but we're back. Weird. Don't. Let's, let's send out a tweet so people don't think I'm bullshit. Don't know what happened there. Don't even know. Okay, Don't, yeah. I have no idea what happened, Bon. Yeah, that thunderstorm is has just reached me. So did it? Well, I, I mean, I didn't lose power or anything. It was just like, and we were still in the chat. That's why I was just like, when it said offline on my Twitch, I was kind of like, what the hell just happened? Yeah. Uh, I just want to talk about futures now at this point. That shit was I dude, I had a full page of just future like I mean just 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 do the futures, I guess then. Because I mean I, like, mean I had one more game. I had one more game. Well then are we still doing like the games that we picked or some shit? Yeah. We just okay. Uh, yeah, if you don't mind, I got uh yo, I got some uh MLS I wanna talk real quick. I just ran out to the girl. Oh, hold on. I mean I got Union versus Club America right here. I wanted to, we got a CONCACAF Champions League game tomorrow night. And then we can transition right into MLS for you. Oh. So, I mean, Union are plus 500. The line is like plus one and a half. So, I'm taking Union. Fuck Club America. We're out here. We're duping it. Uh, Bondi, are you riding? What's good? It's you plus 500. So, I'm probably taking the money line, too, if I'm being honest with you. I mean, come on. You know you got to ride with the hometown squad, man. They're going to go out there. They're going to they're gonna... – I mean, let's let's talk about this. The last game in the MLS that the Union played, they used a bunch of young guys. They rested a bunch of guys. They're going to be fit, ready to. They're going to be in shape, ready to go. Uh, you're not going to have guys that have heavy legs out there. Uh, and I know, like, people on Twitter were bitching about, oh, well, the Union should have beat the Revs there. Like, but let's let's. The bigger picture here is let's go win the fucking Concacaf Champions League game, the final. Let's go win that. Bring back a trophy. Like, fuck, man, this. Jesus, like just just be happy. Like, go, let's go get this fucking trophy. So, I mean, I take you know, here. Too. I just want I mean, trophy, bro. I'm tired of only having a shield. It's bullshit. Yeah, well, <laughs> Union money line, man. Union money line. They're out there. They're gonna fucking do their thing. They're gonna win. Uh, Jim Curtin, man, he's a great fucking coach. Mastermind. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be surprised if you see that man go to Europe in the next two years. Mastermind. Uh, yeah. He has a clause in his contract for that. Oh, oh good. What do you got for us? So, yeah, Union's entire focus has been on Club America. Like uh, like they said, they, you started a bunch of scrubs, uh, didn't get the job done versus New England. That happens. They were not focused on New England at all. Uh, I love uh, Plisbico or whatever, however you say yeah, it. Casper. Yeah, dude, I love Casper for an any time here. Casper is going to going to run it up, and uh, I know there are plenty of people in Mooney Gang Discord. Shout out Mooney Gang that think Burke is like the third option for scorer, but Bur I've I've bagged up on Burke any times plenty. So I love Burke. Uh, I think he's dangerous. Um, I love signing the keeper to a two year extension. I think uh, I think Union's going to come ready to play for sure. Um, do I think they get the job done in regulation? Maybe. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I, I definitely am taking Casper anytime for sure. You got to. He's an immediate threat in the air. Any set piece, any long throw in, my man is a threat. And I don't care what team is out there. When you're a big motherfucker and you got a touch like him, you're a threat. Uh-oh, now I'm lagging again. Oh, Jesus. Uh-oh. Yeah, I mean, good? I'm good. Never mind. Just, dude, I mean, it's not like the Union didn't have the opportunity to beat the Revs uh, this past week. They had the chance to score. I mean, it was good to see uh, the young Aronson get on the score sheet. Whew, uh, what about you? I, dude, fucking gorgeous goal. Absolutely gorgeous. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, – my my interesting thing to see is, like, is there, like, a line on – cards this game because this is going to be Ooh, fucking probably. brutal man yeah. this is going to be brutal it's at the azteca too so that's it's gonna what i'm be saying how i mean let's so from a philadelphian point of view did you ever expect the union to be playing at the azteca because i fucking didn't 
Uh, no, they fucking were dog shit the first seven years of their existence. <laughs> Un unnecessary. Um, we were the playoffs our wrong. second year. Fuck you, dog. Uh, Barry, what do you got? Uh, I so I I know all the Mooney Gang guys and a bunch of you guys are all East Coasters, all Philly dudes, all Jersey dudes. So the love for Philly is huge all around the the crew I roll with on the internet. So I've been buying into Philly. I definitely don't think I think they're a top three team in the East. Uh, I definitely think the Revs are better. Uh, I definitely think Orlando is better. Um, yeah. Shout out to my manager today. You know, you know the vibes. Nani bagged me up on fucking 480 the other day with my $300 free bet. So. He still has a stupid haircut. <laughs> hey, hey, you can see his ass everywhere on the field, though. So you know when he's got the ball, especially if you're watching on a shitty little TV or laptop over at your fucking homie's house while they're trying to play Rocket League or some shit. And you're like, I got a bag on this MLS game. So uh, Domino's is going to need a timeout in the last three minutes here. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I definitely think Union has shown up to play. Uh, they Their entire focus has been on this Club America game. Uh, Club America did not run through Portland the way I thought they would uh, when they played Portland. Um, fuck, what was – what's his name? That Portland keeper had a hell of a fucking game against Club America, making three absolutely lights-out saves. So Club America – if they show up with that effort that they came at Portland with at home, then I don't think they make it past the union. Um, but if they show out like they do with the, uh, with the refs, the way they like to call that game, it's going to be extremely physical, which is why Casper is a huge addition for, for union. So uh, I, I anticipate a very physical game. I don't see a lot of cards coming, especially the way they ref these games. Um, if you do see a card, it is going to be absolutely egregious in a clear red in EPL that'll be a borderline yellow in this game. Hey, look at this. Bang. Give it to the people. Okay. So uh, my favorite or one of my favorite MLS picks uh, this week is Revolution Moneyline. Plus 130. New England is still without Carlos Gill, um, who is an absolute savage. Their entire game runs through him. Every time Gill is over plus 170, he is a mandatory assist bet. That man is a walking fucking bucket for assists. All he, He's MLS leader and constantly Barstool is hanging a dumbass number like plus 220 on him. And he's been one of my most profitable plays all year. So Gil for an assist uh, is has been historically profitable. He's probably out for two more weeks. So the Revolution guys show up. Uh, Bow just got player of the month in the East. Absolutely well-deserved. That sky missile he had to go top of the net the other day was absolutely insane. Um, they're, they're red hot right now. This is a very tough road game, and Matt Turner put that fucking gold cup on his – that gold cup team on his back and was just a brick fucking wall out there. So, Turner coming with the hot hand. I love New England to win this game. Probably looking at like a 1-0, 2-1 uh, kind of finish. So, that, that's why I love for New England. Um, I got up next, I got Sporting Kansas City money line with Busio leaving for Italy. It's going to be a new look for Kansas City. Thank God he's leaving. What's up? I said, thank God he's leaving. I think he's my man is going to go to Venezia and he's going to just do his fucking thing out there. Him and uh, Cade Kyle from San Jose are some of the two most like talented uh, homegrown U.S. players. So that's what I love about uh, MLS. That's what I love about U.S. football is it's up and coming. We're, we're making a lot of really good strides. So uh, with Busio leaving for Italy, Plito needs to step his ass up. He needs to get back in form. He didn't get a lot of minutes playing with that Mexican national team down at Gold Cup, but he is an absolute savage and a 100% finisher in front of the net for Sporting KC. Uh, they, had, they just came off a very tough 0-0 draw 
in Colorado. Shout out my boy Jarnis. That's his t- that's his team. He's a fucking supporter. He plays the trumpet in the band out there. Like, oh. yeah, dude. So um, that was an extremely, extremely tough game. Heartbreak, you know. I look. It's tough to watch a zero-zero draw on a yeah, season that doesn't go into extras or PKs. But that was one of the most thrilling zero-zero draws I've seen in a while. And Houston is super banged up with you ready out, uh, questionable. Their their whole lineups very very questionable for Houston. And I love the juice on plus one fifty-five on Sporting KC uh, from what I saw it. And then uh, my last and final pick is uh, King Yosef is coming off that red card and he's getting a goal for Atlanta, hands down. King Yosef is my boy. Um, He's got two goals in three games back. Also caught that red for, what, a nine-on-ten finish or whatever. That game got really chippy. But with how much Atlanta's been able to draw and kind of maintain while they fired their scumbag fucking piece of shit coach, uh, <laughs> Atlanta's posed, poised to make a, a run at the bottom of this playoff bracket here. So I would uh, I would watch out for King Yosef anytime uh, with Atlanta borderline trying to make a playoff run here. So that's why. That I was got. Tata, right? That was Tata Martino, was their coach? Yeah. That fucking scumbag who wouldn't let him drink water during practice, and yeah, he's been a scumbag, violating like every rule of the MLS collective bargaining agreement. So <laughs> Atlanta looked pretty scummy there for hiring him in the first place. Because my boy Perky, shout out Perky, uh, was talking about how that was a huge thing down in Argentina at his last position. So I thought Atlanta's front office looked kind of scummy there. Obviously, the coach is a fucking scumbag. But I do love the five stripes. I have a – if I wasn't wearing the Nani jersey, I'd be wearing my custom Burr Oaks Atlanta five stripes jersey today. So let's I'm just thinking of, like, more reasons now. He just keeps tweaking more East Coast teams that aren't the Union. So, like, he's slowly making an enemy here, Bond. That's all I'm going to say about these picks. Yeah, I mean, I love the Sounders too. Uh, Rudy Diaz is hands down anytime – He's even close to plus 120. He's a mandatory bet. Rudy Diaz, absolute savage out of Seattle. Sounders are a fucking wagon. Take them to win the West. I know that's going to break my boy from Colorado's heart. But, yeah, uh, Sounders, especially when they get healthy and they stop starting 15, 16, 17-year-olds, uh, yeah. the Sounders are a fucking wagon, and and they're gonna win the West for sure. Bro, I I had uh I was against the Sounders the one night where they had all the young bulls starting. Like it was the first time that they did it, and they squeaked out like a one to nothing win. If you followed the XG theory, it was like three to one on the expected goal theory, and they ended up losing fucking one nothing. That was, it was just the dumbest shit. Rocket shot from Rudy Diaz at damn near center field. Dude fucking drained it from 43 yards out. It was absolutely fucking, fucking joke. No, that was a fucking joke. That was bullshit. <laughs> then they just parked the goddamn bus. Bullshit. Anyway, we're moving on. We're getting in the future talk. It's before the season. So also I have this I have this clip on hand, Bond. Hold on, ready for this? Future. Future. All right, so that's our future clip that we have. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, anyway, futures. And I'm getting my notebook out for this, Bond, because I went ham on these. So uh, I'll be I'll be up front right away. I'm flying blind. You, I mean, Bond. Bond. Yeah. Besides maybe Roma making a push for the title, what the fuck kind of title hopes do you have for any of your teams? All right, you, you stay in your goddamn lane. Fair point. Are you even in Europa yeah. League this year, Arsenal? No, they're not going to get yeah. fucking. All right, league. stay in your goddamn lane. All right, this is like this is like fucking VD talking to me about Wolves. Like, oh, we beat gonna, we beat Real Madrid in 1953. No, no. It's like, yeah, and you haven't won a game ninth. since. Arsenal's going to finish ninth. That's what's okay. going to happen. Well, future talk. Uh, all the champions for the leagues, I, I think, is literally just all the chalk. Like, I. Besides Ligue 1, where I'm taking a long shot and I'm going with Lyon at plus 1,700 because I think that PSG is going to hyper-focus the uh, UCL towards the end of the season, even though they're still going to choke. Uh, I, I I love the odds on Lyon. 
even if you just took Leon to get second place, it was still like plus 300 because Lil Le is there. You got Nice there who made some moves. So Ligun is going to be for second place, mind you, very open. But I think Leon sneak in and they do PSG dirty. They're going to get Le- they're Leon's going to play PSG like right before one of their big Champions League games against like Juventus or some bullshit. And they're going to get an easy win there. And then all they need is a draw to get kind of like the win out versus that team. So I think Leon sneaks it. Other than that, I think City's going to win EPL. And that was at minus 139. City, they, they're clearly dominating England and they've only gotten better. The only people I think give them even like Maybe a run for their money is Chelsea and Man U. And then uh, Spain, Bias, taking Real Madrid. They're also the chalk, plus 150, though. Odds, give me that all day. Uh, Bayern to win their 10th because who's going to stop when you win nine in a row? You're going to stop and not get the 10th, <laughs> Juventus. But still, Bayern, there's no fucking way Bayern lose the 10th. Of all the ones to lose, like, no, nah, you're going to win fucking, you're going to win the 10th in a row. I'm sorry. That was minus 500 I got that at. Wasn't it like I'm not even saying yo, you guys should definitely go bet that. Not even worth it. I'm just letting you know that's what I picked. Bundesliga should be cake. No offense. I know you're a Dortmund fan, Burr, but just trying to get my champions out of the way. Cause Syria, I also took Juventus. I think this is their bounce back year. Inter are dead. They lost their coach. They lost their best player. They're about to lose their second best player and their best midfielder. Their defense is old as dirt. Their goalkeeper's old as dirt. Napoli didn't really bring anyone in. They might lose Insigne now, too. Roma, I think, look like the most dangerous team to their fucking title hopes. AC Milan, I think, will make their moves, but also they're going to choke. We watched it happen. AC Milan reminds me of Atletico Madrid. And I know that Atleti just won, but I'm talking choke. AC Milan, I'm glad you won your December title, but I'm going with Juventus this year. Uh, we can get into players and like other future talk after this, uh, but, uh, Oaks, let me get your uh, your champions for the leagues. Okay, so champions for the league are pretty chalk, um, but I definitely very much love in uh, in French League One. I very well, time out, time out, time out. You see the flag, right? I'll you, there's just a whole lot of disrespect. I was nice, if we're being honest. I was being nice. I uh, I love AS Monaco as uh, a top three finish, plus one twenty five right now on points bet. Um, I think Monaco is coming on strong. They got a lot of good things going for them. Um, they've been, I've been watching a lot of them on this, uh, champions league play in tournament and, uh, stuff like that. So I like, uh, I like Monaco a lot for a top three finish there in uh, league one, uh, Bundesliga, as I previously mentioned, I love Dortmund, uh, as a dog. I got them plus 700 on points bet right now. Um, yeah, I'm looking at minus 589 for Byron Munich. So there's absolutely no value in betting that. Um, just my personal opinion. So you're going to use it as a parlay piece or something. But, yeah, Dortmund is an outside shot. I, I very much like those guys in Bundesliga. Uh, uh, hold on. I, I, uh, I'm, I had my notes for this on my phone. I'm using my phone to broadcast. So oh, jeez. <laughs> We got him fucked up. Bond, I just want to go to this comment really quick. Troop said if Arsenal gets top four, he's going to get Arteta tattooed on his forearm. So what are you going to do for us if uh, Arsenal gets top four, Bond? I'll get a tattoo. I'll get get a tattoo. tattoo. Is it going to be Arteta? It's not. I want a silhouette of Arteta right on your bikini line. It's not going to happen. Well, I mean, this isn't fun. What are you going to get? Okay. There's only one Invincibles on your ass? No. (laughs) I mean, I'd rather not do an Arsenal one. Uh, Well, I mean, it's an Arsenal bet. So, um, in Mooney League, uh, we'll find somebody with absolutely outrageous odds for a hat trick, and we'll throw five, ten bucks on them, whatever. And then the whole time, if they get if they get one in a in a shot on goal, we'll start talking, dude. If this guy hits the hat, hat trick, we're getting soccer balls tattooed on our ass. Shout out the big baby, who's uh, his favorite thing is to take Ronaldo for a hat trick and talk about how we're gonna get soccer ball ass tattoos if he hits it. But that's uh, Lewandowski. <laughs> but anyway, so back to futures. Uh, in EPL, I'm, I'm going to take Chelsea. 
uh, just because Man City minus 150, yeah, they probably win it. But uh, with futures bets, I always love taking dark horses. I love taking big money odds. I love, uh, you know, I love just cheering for, for something else to happen other than what's chalk. Yeah, facts. Uh, I tried to do that with Chelsea last year. I was like, because they were on a pattern where like every three years they were winning. I was like, eh, it's worth it plus 900. Fuck it. So right. that didn't work out very well for me. Uh, I got players now too. Do you got some player awards? Uh, so I have, uh, I have like top goal scores for each team in EPL that I can run through on. Uh, so oh, each team? I don't need each team. Not each and every team, just like some of my favorite teams, so I can. Oh, okay. I mean, if they're good odds, like I'll definitely take some value here. But I thought you were about to just go through each Premier League team and give me their top score. Because <laughs> one, that's going to take forever, and two, I'm probably going to argue with that. Well, for sure, longer. For one, I'll take Arsenal. I'll take Pepe as uh, number one goal scorer plus five for Pepe. I don't know, no man. Give me I think Saka is going to have more way, than him. No way. Not not a fucking chance. Not just, a fucking chance. No. No. Off sides. He's the new Timo Werner, dude. He's got to stay on sides, and he's going to fucking net a shit ton of goals. Just get him on the outside, feed that ball to him in transition, and he's going to fucking take it to the net. Jaka is going to have more put, goals. No, you got to put set pieces year. into it, too. You got to put set pieces into it. Jaka is going to have more goals than Pepe by the end of the year. Yeah, do it. That's just not true. Uh, there's uh, no it's not true. Way. I mean, it's, it's just such a black. Pepe is not going to be the leading goal, goal scorer on Arsenal. If anything, it's going to be a Bama Yang again. And you even if they trade him midway through the season, he's still going to be the leading goal scorer. You want to do an ass tattoo bet on that? No, I don't. I don't, actually. All right, then, uh, the, the, who you got is Arsenal's top goal scorer? A Bama Yang. I would do Saka or I would do a. Uh, uh, Lacazette, just to be different from everyone else. Lacazette is at least plus two hundred. If you're gonna take uh, Mbappe, then you're you're laying minus one sixty five on that juice, dude. That's that's a tough ask. Yeah, agreed. How about you, Leg? Who's what's your next team? My next team. So I I didn't go team by team. I just took like I went. Uh, I went went for the lead. You want Golden Boot? I have Golden Boot, and I have – my one that I really liked was Jack Grealish to get the most assists. It was plus 600. Uh, I think he was like third or fourth on the list, but I think that Kevin De Bruyne is going to be going more forward and like actually taking the chances where Jack Grealish is going to be just dishing, and he has just so many fucking options, especially if they get Harry Kane too. Are yeah. you kidding? Love so, it. A goal scorer for EPL, and honestly, I didn't like their chalk, so I just went fucking Raheem Sterling because it was plus 2,000. And I was like, I'll throw five bucks on Raheem Sterling to lead the league in goals to win 100. That's fucking great odds. And Raheem Sterling, I think – I mean, you count the the form from the Euros. I think he's going to come back. He's going to come back hot with a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. He had a rough season, and this is a contract season for him. If he wants to get paid the amount that he feels he should get paid – my man's going to have to put up numbers. Not to mention he's been the Manchester City leading goal scorer, I think, besides last year, like the last two, three years in a row. So Sterling, plus 2,000. I think those are crazy odds, especially when you got fucking Mo Salah, no salad at plus 400. That's fucking crazy to me. But uh, oh, that just- being said, I love Mo Salah uh, to win the Golden Boot as well. I think they're better at the odds than fucking Harry Kane because if Harry Kane stays at Tottenham, he's just going to be a little bitch over there. And if oh. Harry Kane goes to City – I don't know. I also think Kane is gas, dude. I think he's a fuck ton of football in the last 18 months, and he just has not looked like the finisher around the net that he's supposed to be, especially in the last, you know, in Euros especially. So I I just think Harry Kane's gassed. I know these guys have been absolutely fucking dog-ass tired. So anybody who didn't play Euros, anybody who didn't play any of the international shit, is going to have a huge leg up. They're going to be in shape. They're going to have fresh legs. They're going to be in, in much better shape, I think, this year for guys that actually took rest and recovery time than dudes who have played just wall-to-wall games for the last, call it, 15 months. Yeah, other than that, it's just like, 
So, uh, do you do any uh, DK? Did you look at any futures? Because, like, I have a shit ton of, like, finishing positions where it was just, like, this team's going to finish higher than this team. And they're fucking, one, the odds are dope. And, two, it's fucking hilarious, the picks that they let you do. So, I have stuff for that. But I, I want to see how many uh, futures you have. You seem like you had a lot more people than I did. Because oh. the only other ones I have is, like, Benzema to get the Pachichi in Spain, plus 300. And then Immobile to lead Serie A in goals was plus 1,100, which I fucking love. He has one cold season, and then you drop him that. They had Morata above him, Bond. They had Morata and odds above him, which I thought was fucking crazy. That's blasphemous to all Italians. Yeah, plus 1,100, though. I was like, fuck yeah. Five bucks right there, you win like 90. So I love, uh, for Leicester, I love uh, Nacho at plus 250 to lead uh, Leicester in goals. That is definitely one of my favorite uh, prop bets um, for leading goal scorer for teams. Uh, one Disrespectful second. to Vardy, but okay. I mean, what was Madison at? Don't get me wrong. I, I love like Madison better also. But. but he very much struggled to finish last year in EPL. Uh, I thought he, it was just because he was injured all the time. Well, I mean, you know, it might be the half a pack of smokes and four Red Bulls he chugs before every game too, but I ain't going to hold Thank that. No, Vardy. Um, I also I don't hate a sprinkle on Foden plus six hundred for Man City top goal scorer. Um, let's see who else I got here. Uh, Danny Ings, Aston Villa top goal scorer plus one twenty. Not the greatest odds, but definitely worth a peep. Um, Brentford's top goal scorer, new kids on the block. Uh, I got them getting relegated plus one thirty. You got them getting relegated plus 130? Yep. I don't hate that. Um, I think they stick around for a while. I think a while. I'm going to go on with Crystal Palace, man, Like other than absolutely getting skull-fucked by Chelsea this weekend. Uh, they, I know they were kind of a mid- to lower-table team last year, and Zaha is pretty good, but I just I haven't seen anything I liked at uh, Crystal Palace. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hate a sprinkle on them getting relegated this year. Um, so, yeah. I want to have beef with this guy every time that he's commenting now. I can already tell. He's an Atleti fan. F Brentford. They're going to go right back down. There's a reason why they've never been in the Premier League. They ain't ready for it. <laughs> so, no, dude. They play, they play a very similar style to Leeds at times. <laughs> It's, Hold up! You can't play a similar style to Bielsa ball. That's just no, I'm t- and no, no. They try to play that Bielsa ball. That's what I'm saying. And like, it's it's fast paced. But I mean, I mean, going down. I don't think Brentford goes down. I'm gonna be honest. I think you probably see Aston Villa drop down. I mean, yeah. Let's talk about what? How, how big was Jack Grealish for the first half of their season? Yeah, and how much five. money did they just make? You think they're just gonna sit on that hundred million, or they're gonna go buy some fucking players? I don't think they're gonna do a good job spending. They're not going to do a fucking relegation. Norwich, Norwich goes back down. Norwich a thousand percent goes back down. Well, they were minus one twenty, which is why I didn't pick them. And Watford and, was plus one hundred, but I love Watford and I love their kits and I want them to stay up. And, and I think Jordan yeah. will keep them up. I wouldn't be surprised if you see Palace go down. I wouldn't be surprised if you see Palace. I'd go be down. surprised. You don't believe in your boy? When did you become against Vieira, bro? I thought you were cool with Vieira. I thought that was your boy. I'm cool with Vieira. I just think you Palace. Want invincibles, sucks. right? I think Palace sucks. All right, man. That's also didn't Vieira get fired from an NYCFC? Then he get fired. No, he left to go to Nice. <laughs> then he got fired. <laughs> so he did get fired at some point. Okay. All right, like you're up on the rest of the futures. Let's uh, you know, it's you show, but I'm running out of drink here, so let's. Take you out. You need to go get a drink. Take us get your drink, bro. I got. Man City to win the Champions League plus 350. I think the biggest key here is the fact that the pressure is all on PSG to win now. Fact. Before, it's always in Man City. They've always been the favorite. They had that little bit of pressure like, oh, can Pep Guardiola do it again? Because he hasn't won it in over 10 years. I think this is the time they finally do it. Other than that, I'm going to bet on Real Madrid to win the Champions League because I'm biased. But <laughs> fucking plus 350, those are some great odds to have Man City go to another final. Pep Guardiola, we know he can do it. We've seen him do it the past few years. He just that last fucking game. He always makes too many. His brain is too big for his own good. His brain's too big. Plus three fifty is always a great number to look to hedge too. If he makes it to the final, you can always hedge for profit. One hundred percent. The next, 
<laughs> the next ones I got are just all finishing positions. So do you want me to just run through this? Yeah, just run through it. All right, Tottenham's going to finish over Arsenal. That's minus 118. I think Tottenham made smarter moves, and their coach actually knows what he's doing. Uh, I got Man U finishing over Chelsea plus 115, which I just love those odds because Man U, like, they think they're going to win the league. So I think they'll at least do better than Chelsea, hopefully. Uh, what would you say? These are all from DraftKings? Yep. I'm going to have to peep these later just because I didn't get a chance to run through these. Uh, the next one I got is Leicester finishing higher than Arsenal, minus 112. I thought those odds were fucking ridiculous, but Leicester does always seem to choke at the end of seasons. We watched them do it last year. Facts. Same with West Ham. Uh, that being said, I have Leicester finishing over Tottenham, minus 112, and Leicester to finish in the top six, plus 100. That's all my Leicester bets, I swear, I guess. <laughs> Um, I thought this was just great value. I've had Letty finishing above Barcelona. One puta Barca. Fuck them. Where's my boy? Where's that Letty boy now? I got you. You guys can have second place. Um, plus 150, though, for that. And then Brentford to get relegated was plus 130. I don't have the faith that you guys do in Brentford. I understand playing at the championship is a lot different than playing at the, uh, than playing at the uh, Premier League level. Because money does come in, and a lot of people don't know how to spend the money the right way. We've seen that's evident. And when it's your first time in the Premier League, it doesn't usually go well. That's just my opinion on it. Uh, other than that, it's just like random trophy wins. So Man City to win a domestic double, which they've done for like, I don't know what, like the past five years. Plus 550 domestic double. So that means the Carabao Cup in the league, the Carabao Cup in the FA Cup, FA Cup in the league, any of those combinations. Shit, City to just win a trophy domestically was plus 125. They've won the Carabao Cup like the last seven years in a row. That's that's genuinely free money at this point. If you're going to give plus odds on City to win an English trophy. And then uh, Chelsea to win a trophy is plus 190. I think they're looking at an FA Cup or maybe even a league title. So I thought those are good odds. But those are all my futures I have. Oh, yeah. Great show, guys. Fucking right. Uh, if you need to find any of the picks, you can check them out on our Discord. Um, usually we'll give our top 10, but we did futures instead, and uh, we already got fucking shut off once, and we've been going for over an hour, so we won't bore you with any more picks. On top of that, we got all of the Oaks MLS picks, so that should make you guys enough money till the weekend so you can get into our Discord. So do exclamation point Discord if you need more picks. You want to talk some gambling with the boys? We'll all be in my Discord. Other than that, good luck to everyone. Kick em Season 2 has officially started, 21-22. Cotton's picks will be on the board. He has promised me. He has assured me. We'll fucking see. Shut up. Anyway, good luck to everybody. Oh, no. Bondi, good luck. Uh, yeah, I'm going to fucking need it. <laughs> yes, that's